Hello, guys. This is Moi Ban. Today, I want to share with you how I set up a Vroid model, how to reduce the shading when you start a project. So, as you can see, this body is having some sort of reflection on the head and some realistic shading on the neck, some shading on the clothes, and shading on the leg. Since I make 3D models that look like 2D, these shadows are something that I don't want to have. So, today I want to share with you guys things I do before I get into modeling. So, I'm gonna share with you how to remove these shadings, how to make this 3D model look a bit more 2D. From the start, first you need to go to look, and over here you can see there's there's outline, rim light, shading, eye alignment, and bones. So the things we need to change is here in rim light and shading. First you go to rim light, and you decrease the intensity. If I change the intensity here, you can see on the head that the shading starts to decrease. Make sure that intensity on each part of the body is set to zero. I just check all the intensity to zero and keep the concentration to 100. And then you go to the shading. And what you need to change is change the shading area to zero. If I pull the shading area all the way to 100, all the face is in the shading. And make sure all of the shading area are minus one. There's no hair, so you cannot see the difference. But as I change in the body, you can see the shading is gone. The last thing you need to do is change the shading hardness. As you can see, even though the shading area is minus 1, if you decrease the shading hardness, the whole face is still gradually get into the shadow. So you need to change the shading hardness to 1. And now you can get a 3D body without any shading and uh, looks more like a 2D and that's what I normally do before I start a Vroid project. I hope these settings can help you make your model looking more 2D. In this video, I introduced my workflow of how to reduce the realistic 3D shadings and make the model looking more 2D. And if this video is helpful for you, please give it a like and leave a comment down below. If you have some suggestions or more tips to share, please leave a comment as well. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and you can support the content making by joining this channel's membership. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!